we're here today to show off the brand new MK3, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the, the brand new heat bed. Right? Since a lot of you guys have been asking, you know, how do we do the bed? And so this is it. And you'll see it over there in a minute. And so what it is, it's a flexible steel plate that lays right over the bed. So no more PDI sheets. The PDI is right in the board. So once you, can, you print directly on it, the print's done. You let, take it right off the, the print. Lift the plate up, put it off to the side, you let it cool, it'll pop right off the board, you just bend the board, it'll pop right off there. We've spent, since the beginning of the year, using this board in our print farms with about 300 printers that run 24-7. So we took that bed through every possible test that we can think of and it's come out with flying errors. So you actually listened to all the users and you took that input oh, yes. and came out with an awesome bill play. Oh yes, we listen to every single, when a customer sits there and says, you know, hey, I have an idea, you know, we don't just ignore it, we do pass along that information, our developers do get that, they, they hear what people are saying, you know, through, through Facebook, through Reddit, through every possible way, and then we'll sit there and the developers will take all that and figure out what to do to improve it. You know, our developers work harder than anyone else because they're always working. They, they don't know the definition of time off. Recently on 3DP, we saw the behind the scenes uh, at the Prusa Research uh, facilities. And one thing I noticed is the QC that goes into the product. Yes, we take a lot of time as far as doing quality assurance, making sure that the parts all work from the printed parts all the way to the electronics part. And as you said, people are like, I want it out the door now. We could easily do that, but we could ship a printer halfway across the world. If we don't test it out and something doesn't work, you know, you're not going to be happy. You're going to be really upset with that. So we'll sit there. We'll take the time. We'll test out everything. We'll quality assurance the printed parts, the electronics, the mechanics. When you get a printer from us, there's a test sheet that will show all the electronics and the mechanics have all been tested. The printed parts, all of them go through a bridge test to make sure that everything works right and everything fits the way it's supposed to be. Outstanding. And what is going to be the lead time on these new build plates? Well, realistically, right now, I mean, we just announced the kit and everything else. We have the, the far, I'm sorry, we have the print beds for the farms. Um, so, as far as the exact lead time, that's something that we would need to sit, sit down with the developers, with the production team to really figure out exactly how long that will take. Because once these things, people are going to start ordering them, we're going to get slammed with a lot of orders. So we really need to sit there and have the time to make sure that it's all done right. Yeah. So unfortunately right now, I can't give you that answer. But if you go to cruciedup3d.com, sign up for the newsletter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Anytime we release anything, so are they, it's there uh, first. And then after that, it will go up on Facebook and Twitter and everything else. But the newsletter, that's the first place to go. It's magic. Well, I want to thank you so much. I'm the happy shooter with YouTube. I have my machine and my multi-material coming in October. And I'm looking forward to all the new things that our producer research is putting out. And it's no longer a myth. There is a bill plate, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Thank right, you. Thank you. Hey, can I say one thing? Sure. Hey, Mom, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> thank you.